to build a capsule wardrobe for 2021 with all the key pieces I would choose for autumn. Creating a capsule wardrobe is pretty easy. It's incredibly helpful for getting dressed each morning. It helps to save you money, it's good for the planet, and I also find the process pretty therapeutic too. So I set myself a little challenge. If I could only have 26 pieces in my capsule wardrobe this autumn, what would they be? And how would I style them all together? That's what I'm gonna be sharing with you all today. I think it's fair to say I got a little bit carried away styling in this video. So I think I've got about 20 outfit ideas for you, so we better get started. So the first thing I chose for my autumn capsule wardrobe would be this dress. Now this was getting a lot of love over on my Instagram account when I posted a picture the other day. And you also might have seen it with that quick video I did for YouTube Shorts. I would say this is my favourite dress I've found for a very long time and it makes me feel really nice. So although it's a bodycon dress, it's not ridiculously skin tight which I think would make me feel uncomfortable, I wouldn't feel like me. It's just enough of a skim into your waist and then scooping over your hips to feel a little bit sexy but in a really understated way. And as you can see with these outfit ideas, I can mix and match lots of these different pieces from my rail to create lots of different looks. And when you find yourself using a piece like that in so many different ways, it definitely has to go into your capsule wardrobe. Now interestingly, that's the only dress I've actually selected for my rail this autumn. And I think one really important tip to remember is don't just put things in for the sake of it. If you're not finding you're wearing a lot of dresses at the moment, don't worry about it. Just put one in like I did. There's no rules of how many dresses you should or shouldn't have. Just try and pick the pieces which you know you will be reaching for time and time again. So next up onto cardigans. Now I will do another version of this for winter, but in autumn I do tend to reach for cardigans, I do lots of layering, so hence why I'm putting a couple of those in there. So the first one is again from my pretty successful shopping trip at COS. This one's made from organic cotton and I love it. <laughs> and I particularly love it styled with the dress as you've seen in this footage. They're very slightly different shades of beige, but actually I think it works really nice together for a neutral outfit. And also I tried it with my new Zara skirt that I got in the chocolate recently. And I really like those two together. So not only will this cardigan obviously go with things like jeans, but I also really like the look with those midi skirts and possibly a mini too actually, I should try that one. So the second cardigan I would definitely have in my capsule wardrobe would be this gorgeous one in peacock blue. You might have seen this the other week when I did my most recent Suzanne haul. I think it's a beautiful cardigan and obviously it's also nice to have a pop of colour amongst all those lovely neutrals. Now these bright tones are of course one of the big fashion trends for this season but what I would say is try not to be too dictated to by the fashion trends only include pieces like that if you absolutely love them essentially of course if you don't absolutely love them you're not going to be reaching for them too often which kind of negates the whole idea of a capsule wardrobe in the first place where in winter I would probably have at least 10 jumpers on my rail because I'm always freezing in autumn, I've chosen just three. Really scaling it back to those key essentials I know I'm gonna be reaching for at least on a weekly basis. So starting with this beautiful organic cotton jumper that I'm wearing. This for me is the perfect example of just giving a nod to that cut out fashion trend, but in a really subtle fashion. It's just a jumper, but the cut out really brings it up to date. And yet I still feel elegant and I think it's pretty timeless too. So it's fast become a favorite and I think I would style it with virtually every single bottom item I've got on my rail. As you can see in this footage, I've styled it with my skinny leather trousers and my new ankle boots that I just got from Mango. I think that's a really easy and quite classic way to style a jumper like this, really. Um, but I'd equally wear it with these trousers that I'm wearing, which I'm gonna tell you about a little bit later. Next up, I chose a big fluffy number because I think we all need a big fluffy number for those colder autumn days. And this very much fits the bill. Now this was kindly gifted to me from a brand called Charlie London and it's got that very cosy, snuggle up on the sofa feel about it. And yet, hopefully, as you'll see in this footage, 
you can equally dress something like this up pretty easily with a rail like this. And this might be a bit of a Marmite look, but I tried it with one of the other skirts that I've chosen for my capsule wardrobe. This beautiful one that my lovely friend from By Committee has created. Now this is made from pure silk, so it's absolutely beautiful and it fits like a glove. It just skims over your hips in a very flattering fashion. I love it. So going for a real contrast of both styles and fabrics, I paired those two together and it's a look that I felt really nice in. I felt really comfortable and I could imagine wearing that an awful lot. However, I realized that those two together is probably quite an acquired taste and looking at these pieces as individuals, they're obviously going to mix and match with lots of the other pieces on my rail. Now you can do an autumn capsule wardrobe and not include at least one striped item. It does feel like stripes are absolutely everywhere at the moment. So I've gone for this one that's quite a classic that I bought from Sazam. I went for this in the medium and it gives you a bit of an oversized fit which I would say is slightly more on trend for this season. However, if you're not keen on oversized fits, don't worry, just go true to size. I would just say to have some sort of striped top or jumper in your wardrobe for autumn, you'll probably find really handy. Now, I've seen so many striped jumpers about recently, it's fast becoming one of the it pieces for this season. So I've included some links to my favorites from all different price points in the description box below. There's one in there actually from a brand called Style In that is coming soon on their website and I keep checking daily, is it back in stuck yet is it back because that's the one that I really set my heart on it's a little bit on the pricey side but I do love my stripes so I think that one would become quite a staple for me and I could imagine having it for years In terms of trousers, I've selected just two pairs. The leather skinnies, which I showed you before. I got these from H&M last winter, actually, and I think they've sold out. But I shall link some alternatives that I found recently in the description box below. And the other pair are the ones that I'm wearing. Now, these are available in quite a bright blue or the navy blue, which is what I went for. They were made from a blend of wool, and they've got such a lovely cut to them. I love it. Got quite deep pleats down the front here, and then the leg really tapers in at the ankle, kind of accentuated even more so by the fact you've got a zip on that ankle as well. So you can either undo the zip, wear them a bit looser, maybe pair them with flats. And I actually really like accentuating that tapered shape even more. And I've done the zip up almost fully and then paired them with my ankle boots. So in this first look I've gone with something pretty classic, hopefully something you could wear for work. And I've paired these trousers with a classic light blue shirt. Now this shirt is from Arquette, which I love, but I'm aware that they really annoyingly don't ship to America and Canada, um, which is so strange. I don't know why they don't ship there. So I shall link some other favorites for you guys in the description box below. But for everyone else who Arquette will ship to, I do think they've got the quality to price ratio spot on with their classic shirts, so definitely recommending those. And the second look with this pair of trousers is almost what I'm wearing right now, uh, minus the boots. As I mentioned before, you could pair them with loafers, and I found that that worked best when you undid the zip a little bit at the ankle. It feels different and on trend, and yet I still feel like me, I still feel like it's very classy and elegant at the same time. So on to denim, and it is the season for something a little bit loose and baggy. I know this is not everyone's cup of tea, but personally, I do really like this look. Firstly, it's ridiculously comfortable, and secondly, it just feels very fresh. It's a new season, and it's quite nice to have a little play with the different types of denim we wear. Especially if, like me, you tend to reach for jeans an awful lot. But if they're really not for you, don't panic, because I've still got my skinnies in there. So I've paired my loose denim jeans with one of the other classic shirts that I'm keeping in my capsule wardrobe. And on my feet I've kept the ankle boots as well because I quite like that contrast of the very baggy leg with the very skinny ankle of the boots. I think that juxtaposition works really nice together. Finishing with my numero set that I got from Palem Paris, overall it ends up feeling like a very effortless chic outfit idea that I could wear on an everyday basis. So like I mentioned I will probably always have my skinny jeans in my capsule wardrobe whether they're particularly on trend or not, I don't care. I love the fit and I like the way they make me feel. And when you think about how to build a capsule wardrobe, not just for autumn, but for any season, how something makes you feel has got to be high up on the list. We could tick trend boxes until the cows come home, but if you don't feel comfortable in those pieces, you're probably not going to want to reach for them on a day-to-day -day basis. Make sure you've got some pieces in there that make you feel nice, that make you feel comfy, and you'll find they'll become invaluable in your own wardrobe. 
So like I mentioned, a couple of classic shirts will always see you right. So I'm keeping the blue and I've got the white there that I got from Everlane. A couple of other staple tops I would add would be a classic white t-shirt. This one came from Arquette and I particularly like it because it's a wide boxy fit. However, if you're in America or Canada, I would recommend the t-shirts, particularly the organic cotton ones that Everlane do. I think they're really nice. Then I got my lovely chocolate top that I got from Zara, which will do a really nice cohort with the skirt, which is obviously one of the other big trends, but also just on its own, paired with jeans or maybe these navy trousers, I think that would work really nicely as well. My favourite little camisole top that I've worn heaps since I bought it. And then for something a little bit more luxe, I went with this silk blouse that I also got from Cezanne. Now I bought this a couple of seasons ago and I absolutely adore the colour, I think it's gorgeous. Sadly it's not still available in this dotty version that I have, however the colour and the pure silk is. And thinking about versatility, this pretty much goes with everything. It makes me feel polished and elegant when I need to dress up. I dress it down a lot with a pair of jeans. Normally I wear the buttons quite far and done and just see a tiny little bit of my bra. In this outfit idea with these tapered trousers, I thought quite a masculine look would work really nicely. So I've buttoned it all the way to the top, as you can see. It's pretty smart, definitely something you could wear to the office. And it just gives me another way I could style this shirt, let alone with all the different pieces it will go with. So really sticking with those key essential pieces for autumn, these are the three skirts that I've chosen. The silk, which you just saw, I've got cotton there in that lovely chocolate brown, and then the mini skirt in the faux leather. Now, a subscriber quite rightly pointed out, why did you go for the faux leather, Jessica, and not go secondhand for a little mini instead? That, for me, was one of those knee-jerk reaction buys, but I 100% agree do try and pop into one of your local secondhand stores because I'm imagining they will probably all have some sort of variation of the mini skirt. Not necessarily in leather, but in another fabric that will definitely tick a box for that fashion trend this season. Now I really wanted to keep this capsule wardrobe pretty tight and minimal. So I forced myself to choose just one favorite blazer and I decided to go for this one that I got from Everlane. There's a couple of different reasons I would say this is my favorite for this season. One, I would say the color, which is particularly on trend this season, and two, the fabric content. This one's been made from tensils, so it is a little bit lighter than some of the other blazers I've got in my wardrobe. So with this blazer look, I wanted to share with you just how changing a pair of shoes could really change the whole vibe of your outfit. So in this first look, as you can see, I've paired them with loafers. That looks particularly everyday, casual, perhaps going to the office. Just a very relaxed but chic outfit idea. And then I switched out the loafers and added my black ankle boots. And suddenly the whole outfit feels a bit more edgy, a bit more rock and roll, which is quite amazing really. All I've done is change the shoes on my feet and suddenly I've got a whole new look. And then in this third outfit idea, I wanted to go a bit more classy, elegant and timeless really. So I added my quite neutral looking strappy heels and then draped my beautiful new coat, which I shall show you again in a moment, over my shoulders. And yet again, the whole vibe of the outfit is completely different to the last. So try and not overlook those very simple styling touches because often it's the little things that can make a really big difference. As you've probably noticed throughout this video, I've only been styling my outfit ideas with just three pairs of shoes and two handbags. I'm actually quite impressed with myself that I managed to break it down to just those few pieces. But again, I really wanted to keep this capsule wardrobe minimal and down to those really key essentials as I see it for autumn. So as you'll have seen, I went with my black ankle boots, I've got my loafers, and then my neutral strappy mid heels. And then handbag wise, both of which came from Palen Paris, and I went with my classic numero un handbag, which pretty much goes with the entire rail. And then to have a little extra sprinkle of camel into my outfit ideas, I chose the numero set. Last but not least is my beautiful winter coat. Now obviously when I do my winter version of this video, there will probably be a lot more outerwear, jumpers and general warm stuff on my rail. But for autumn, I've selected just one wool coat. 
and that would be this little beauty that I got from Mango. Now hopefully you saw my video last week where I was showing off this beautiful coat. If you missed that video, I shall link it in the description box below. But it's fair to say, I absolutely adore this coat. I think it's beautiful. And the quality to price ratio made it pretty hard to not add it to basket. So the idea of a perfect capsule wardrobe is that any item you add onto your rail should really make lots of different outfit ideas. So I've got my skinny jeans on there with my little camisole top. I've layered my cotton cardigan underneath just to give me an extra layer if it's cold. And then I've added my neutral heels and camel handbag to finish. That kind of outfit is never going to date. I could definitely see myself wearing it in five years, 10 years time even. And I think really what that boils down to is all those individual items that I'm wearing are beautiful pieces that when paired together really give you an elevated look as a whole. These few looks I've shared today are just the tip of the iceberg, really. I could probably quadruple the amount of outfit ideas just using this rail of clothes. For another video, maybe, but do let me know in the comments section below not only your favourite piece that I've shared with you today, but also if you've got an idea for a styling video that you'd like me to film just using this rail of clothes. It's always really lovely to hear from you all. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I've given you lots of inspiration, not only how to build a capsule wardrobe, but the surprising amount of outfit ideas you can make with just 26 pieces. If you enjoyed this video, I would be very grateful for a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, that'd be really lovely too. I will be back next week with lots more fashion advice and outfit ideas. So hopefully you will join me then. Have a good week, everyone. Take care.